Hi and welcome. My name is Scarlett and today I'm going to show you the differences between the Ricoh Theta Z1, the Trezio 360 and the My360 VR kit. We're going to cover the quality of the images, how to shoot a virtual tour with each one of them and which camera is better for your business or for your institution. Now the Trezio camera is an ideal camera for those that have no experience with virtual tour photography. They want something, a camera that has good quality images, but they don't want to spend a fortune and they don't really want to get involved in learning how all the settings and, uh, and things work on a camera. The Trezio camera can be compared to the Ricoh Theta X camera. The quality of the images is outstanding. The camera itself, it doesn't weigh a lot. It's very easy to use and it has got many of the functionalities that you need for a good 360 camera. So for example, this camera has a 32 megapixels uh, image output. The Ricoh Theta X, for example, 60.5. So it is a little bit different, but for the untrained eye, nobody's gonna see a thing. The other difference is that this camera has just one lens. There's no lens on the back. So how does it take the image? Well, they've invented this lifty, nifty thing. It is the rotator, which you just stick onto your tripod, just like this. And then you click your camera right on it. Make sure it's level. Very important that you know, make sure that the Trezio camera is level. Why? Because the Trezio camera does not have auto leveling. So you have to make sure that that gets done before you start your shoot. The Trezio has its own app. And when you shoot your images with the Trezio, it automatically stitches your photography. The dynamic range of this camera is amazing. It hasn't got HDR, but it has this thing called any scene. And any scene means that you can put this camera in dark or, or low light or very high light, outside, rainy days, whatever, put it in any scene and it will make the best possible image for you. Which is great, you know, you don't need to do anything. There's no EV settings, there's no ISO, it's all done for you. The other thing that I love about this camera is it comes in a handy box. The Ricoh Theta Z1 or the Insta360, they don't come in a handy box. They come in a little pouch and you know, it's very you know, scary if you drop it or your lens is breaking. This camera comes safe and secure in a box, so that's already a sold for me. The other thing is that it's got eight gig storage. So you can take up to about 250 images in one go, which is fantastic. And the last thing, because this camera is rotating by itself, you don't have to find a hiding space. You can just stay behind the camera on the other side of the camera and rotate with it until the image is finished. So you don't have to go and hide for places. But be careful when you do this, that your shadow is not on the floor. A lot of people rotate around the camera and then the shadow shows in the image. So make sure that the sun is right on top of you, 12 o'clock shooting. Now let's talk about the price. This camera is only $399 and Insta, 360X or X2 X right now retails for about $350, $400. The Ricoh Theta SC2 is around the same price. So this is in the same price range as those two cameras. The difference is that the quality of the images of, these, of this camera is better than that. It's better than the SC2. It sits in between the SC2 and the X, so you can't really compare like for like. The other thing as well is that this one does not have video. So the, the Insta, of course, has video. The Ricoh Theta has video, uh, 360 video capabilities. This one does not have that. So that's a big minus. But if you're just in it for 360 virtual tour photography, this is the best camera on the market for that price in that quality range. The Ricoh Theta Z1 is a great camera. It shoots great quality images, it has video capabilities, it has high dynamic range, the EV is manually controllable, you can shoot and roll. There's so much that this camera has to offer. But the price, 999 euros, does have something to say for it. Compared to the Trezio 360, for example, if you do not have any photo photography experience, if you don't know how photography works, you don't want to get involved in all the complicated settings, then this camera might be too much for you. It makes great images, but you have to learn how the camera works, whereas in the Trezio, it does all that for you. So just to compare the two, if you are a professional photographer and you're looking at this for a long term, you, you, this is your job, then this camera is fantastic. You can shoot in RAW, you can edit all the images, you can make it all yourself, you can do it all yourself, and the quality, absolutely outstanding. 
Now the My360 VR kit is something completely different. It's not a camera, it is a kit. And the kit is a rotating tripod mount with a high quality lens that you can stick on any mobile phone. Today we're using an iPhone, but you can use an Android, you can use any phone that you like. Of course, the better the phone, the better quality your phone images are gonna be, the better quality your virtual tour is going to be. And really, some of these images that come back are astonishing. Some of them can be compared to maybe a Ricoh Theta SC2, which is 400 euros. And this nifty gadget only costs $99. What do you get for it? Well, you get the rotator, you get the lens, you stick on your iPhone or your Android, and you put it on a tripod and you start shooting your images. What is the big difference is that this is a little bit more involved. So you need to know how the app works, you need to set everything up, but once it works, it works and it's done. With the Trisi or the Rico Theta, you have the app, it's one click and you're, and you're finished. There's a little bit more time involved in this one. But if you're just starting off and you're just making this for yourself, doing it as a hobby, or maybe it's for your school or university, this is a great way to start because it doesn't cost much, the investment is low and you can get really high quality images depending of course on the quality of the images on your phone. Now let's talk about tripods. There's two types of tripods. There's a monopod which has got one leg and then there's the tripod which is three legs. Normally what we would recommend with the Ricoh Theta or the Insta or the Trisio 360 is use a monopod. Why? Because you get lots more exposure on the floor. The floor area, you don't want to be covered by big tripod legs like this and then having to put a big nadir, which is this circle that goes in the bottom of your virtual tour where you can stick your logo or your company details or your contact details. You want that to be as small as possible and this is why we usually recommend to use the monopods. However, with the My360 VR kit, what happens is your camera is your phone. So instead of having a, an app on your, in your hand to control the camera and keep the tripod completely still, in this case, you have to touch the camera before you take the shot. And what happens is if you put this camera on the monopod, the monopod will move. And then your image is gonna get distortion, there's gonna be movement in the image, it's not gonna be good. So we recommend for the, v, the My360 VR kit to use a tripod with three legs to make it nice and sturdy. The other thing that's important is with the monopod is if you are shooting in an area that is very windy, you're gonna need some ankle weights to stick to the bottom of your, uh, of your tripod. Why? Because the cameras have fallen over. The amount of times we've seen pictures of people with broken lenses because they put the camera outside, a gust of wind picked up the camera and your camera is ruined. They're, they're not gonna fix that for you. You have to have a replacement camera after this. So this is why we recommend to always put something heavy on the bottom of your camera. The other thing that's important is when you set your camera up, especially with the Trisio camera and the My360 VR kit, is they don't have auto leveling. The Theta camera does have auto leveling. So if your camera is not 100% straight with the Theta, you can get away with it. But with these two cameras, you have to make sure your tripod is level, your camera is level, and your images are light and straight.